Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. It's the weekend. We get to enjoy it. So let's get right into a video and learn about a new fish. This is called the Red Breasted Rast. This guy is awesome and he gets huge if you're looking for a really big fish that isn't just going to terrorize everybody and this is a good one to look for prices on them you'll normally spend about 50 to 100 dollars depending on how big you get them tank size i would recommend you have like a solid 180 by the time this guy gets full size because he is going to get huge care level is moderate not really too much to take care of him temper they are actually really peaceful to the extent of almost being shy at times whenever they're not used to a tank Reef compatible is with caution, mainly because they will not mess with your corals. That's not a problem. The problem we have with them is they go after small fish and inverts. So, I mean, I've had stories of people saying their starfish are getting eaten, their shrimps, their snails, their, even their urchins. So you really need to watch out what this guy's going to go after whenever you first put them in your tank. But I would definitely recommend you have some larger fish with him because if you have like a whole bunch of chromies in there, I can promise you, once he gets bigger, he's going to see those as a snack. Temperature, you want to keep it 72, 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's basic there. Max size, they can get a foot long or more. So I've seen some get over a foot long. They're huge, but they're really nice to have. They really take the spotlight of your tank. So just make sure you have plenty of room for him. Don't stack up your rocks so much that he can only swim in the front. Make sure you have some real nice big caves for him to swim in and out of. Diet, of course, they are a carnivore. Normally, we feed them little pieces of shrimp from the grocery store. Clams on a half shell are another really good one. And silver sides are another one you can chop up and give to him. He'll love those. Colors, normally you see either brown or black and white stripes running down them. And then on his face is where you really get some color. It has this real nice red going on it. Origin, they do come from all the way over in Indonesia. Compatibility, just ask. I would house them with other peaceful fish as it will not defend itself. It is a huge fish, but he's not going to defend himself. So kind of think of him like a fox face. They're, they get big, but if something starts attacking them, they just go in a corner and start trying to camouflage themselves. So... Definitely would recommend you only put it with like semi-aggressive fish and maybe let him be the first one in there. Make sure there's plenty of rocks and caves in them because they do get very shy at the very beginning when they're getting used to their tank. So you want to make sure he can get down in the rocks and hide out for a little while before he gets used to the tank. Other than that, I think I've hit everything you can learn about this red-breasted wrasse. Just make sure you have a plenty of a big tank because he's going to get over a foot long. But he's really peaceful. Uh, he will go after your small fish and he will go after your inverts. So you want to make sure you don't have any of that in there because they will be disappearing before you know it. Hope you all have a good day. Hope this helped y'all out. If y'all got any more questions, please leave them down in the comments. I try to get back to them within the day because I'm always on my phone. But I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see y'all later. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends and I will see y'all later.